Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to get high frame rates while you're recording your simulator video as well as how to add music to your video and code it, shrink it down so you upload it to YouTube. Now, uh, you see my frame per second over here is 60 frames per second and this is the program that I use uh, to record my simulator videos. It's called uh, Fraps. Star Fraps Minimized. Now, I'm not going to use Fraps to record with because um, my frame per second dropped too low. I used to record it with the frame per second uh, like that, but uh, I prefer now to use the Fraps recorder just to go to flight recorder open so now I'm gonna start the simulator recorder and I'll uh, give you a small demonstration I tell you, I think I'm ready to put some inverted hover for real. I, I, I feel, I know, I think I really know the orientation. So, I mean, I know it's different from the real thing. I just had to get some balls and give her a shot. Now, oops. Now I just recorded my video. I'm going to switch it over to the Fraps recorder, or the helicopter recorder. Now, I'm going to record music to this, so I'm going to start my song now. No, not that one. Stop. Ooh, stop. What the hell? Stop. Okay, I'm going to use that song anyway. Stop. Now, start the song. I start the simulator recording, and now I enable FRAP by pushing F9. See my frames per second? Now it's recording. It's also saving the music for the recording. Now I'm playing my recording back and I'm recording the recording, if you understand what I mean. So that way my frames per second stay high. I mean, well, what, I recorded a, uh, the video with the frames high. And then when it's recording, it's recording at low frames, so I'm not really affected. Okay, so then now, we stop the fret recorder. stop our song. Now the video we just recorded is um, a giga, uh, 1.41 gigabytes which is too big to upload to YouTube. Now most of the time you're gonna get uh, maybe two video files so I use this AVINPEG joiner and I'll take the two files like that drop them in there hit merge uh, I'll drop it on my desktop and I'll end up there so after that's completed then you open up your Windows media encoder which is free and I go to convert a file okay and then I browse for the file I already need to see and I'll just use this file put it in there and push open my output file I already set it to output the file onto my desktop 
I go next. Now what this is going to do is it's going to compress the files down to about 128 megabytes so that I can upload it to YouTube to be watched by you good people. Um, I hope you guys got it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'd be more than willing to help you. Or right, if you don't understand the video, I'd redo the video as well. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this one came out good this time.